Hello everyone. So today we have a problem statement and the problem statement is we have a couple of content types in this document library called DCL and uh, two content types are like this. Two content types are like this. We have this content type CT test 101 and document. I want all my content types to become document. Yeah and uh, i do not want to keep this content type anymore because it is annoying my users every time they're trying to save a file into this document library they are being prompted which content type do they want to choose and then some people are using this one whereas some users are choosing this one it's a bit of an inconsistency so of course there are reasons why we create content type we want to keep all the metadata but let's just keep all that theory aside our requirement is very straightforward. It is we do not want to keep two content types. We want to have only one and we want all the documents which we are uploading should default to that content type. So users should not be prompted. And the sa a saving of document into a document library should become a seamless process. This is our requirement. How do we go about it? you would think that you can get into the library settings and then you can select the content type which you don't want and can get rid of it no you can't do that because if you are going to delete it it won't because there are some files and folders which are currently using this content type so it won't delete it you don't even want to delete the content type you just want to change all the documents default content type or the set content type at the moment from one to another that's it and then probably you can think about just getting rid of this content type so users don't even get a prompt yeah let's get started with that so we have a few document over here but uh i can change it manually or I can change the document property and can then change it from there. But is it the right way to go about it? Uh, if you have document library containing say a few thousand documents or even a few hundred documents, you are gonna spend like endless time on this. Do you really wanna do that? Probably not. So what, what would be the right approach to go about it? Maybe a PowerShell script. So let's quickly have a look at it. This is a PowerShell, which you are going to need. I'm going to put a link uh, in the description of this video. You can click on it and can get off uh, and you can get this PowerShell. Uh, so I have put in some URLs in there. Yeah, as you can see, it is, I, these, are, these are the four things which you actually have to set. Now, this is going to be the link for your site. This is going to be the name of your document library. Now, old content type is the one which I want to sort of change and new one is the one which I want it to become post the change so you just need to define these four things don't worry about the other uh, bits and pieces over here in this basically I'm just trying to connect to uh, my PNP online uh, by putting in some credentials then connecting uh, then I'm just getting all the content type from the list. And then after getting that, I'm getting the list item of all the old content types. And then through a loop, I am sort of changing everything one by one. So uh, this will save time for me because with one uh, enter, I will be able to change it for uh, the entire list. So let's get started. Men. Now, I just need to do this. <clears throat> now, this is the PowerShell which I have written. I'm just going to hit enter. It is going to ask me credentials so it can connect to my PNP online. That's all right. So it has detected total number of old content type items were 19. 
it is going to find each and every file and it is going to change the content type now this you can see it has just changed everything back to document now if I am going to go to word file it is still going to prompt me because the content type is still available in the library remember that yes I'm going to hit save it is going to still prompt me why because the content type is still available in the library so I'm going to save this document I'm going to close it I will come up over here library settings and then I will select this content type which is not required I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click on delete this content type <coughs> Gonna click on OK. Now the content type is gone. Now, if I am going to create a file and I'm going to type in something, something over here and I'm going to type in save as, going to go back to the same library over here, I'm gonna hit save. It is going to go straight in. No more prompts. I'm going to close this. And that said. <clears throat> so our file which we just created is here. And with the default content type called document. Our unwanted content type is now gone from the library. So what we have just seen is just a way to get rid of the unwanted content type. Uh, from a document library without getting rid of any documents any content so p please feel free to like subscribe and share and uh, uh, thanks for watching you guys have a great day bye